بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته من نفس أبطر يعقوب إبراهيم فاينل رسالة كي سي تي and today I will be presenting about my FRB project titled A Flutter Craft Neural Art Transfer Platform supervised by Dr. Nawab Image style transfer is a relative new algorithm that allows the rendering of an image's quantity statistics with the style statistics extracted from another image as reference It uses convolutional neural network layers and trains a generative adversarial network using those layers and a large amount of data. To make this easier, this project will implement a modular platform specifically designed for this purpose just to generate images that are artistic and the platform will have a desktop application, a website and Android and iOS applications. The problem statement is not everyone can be an artist and draw in artistic styles. So, we all like to look at art, most of us at least, and we want to make our own art, but we don't know how to do it. This platform will solve that problem. Another problem is that classical art styles have been lost due to the inability to duplicate. The authors of those arts are not with us anymore, to say the least, so we cannot duplicate those styles anymore. This platform will also make duplicating old art styles easier. The objectives of the project is to implement a GAN that is capable of image transfer, to build an API that is used to interact with the model and to modularize the architecture so it can be deployed in a server and inferenced from without needing too much resources or computational power. The final objective is to design a mobile application using Flutter. Flutter will be also used to design the desktop application and maybe the website, depending on how Flutter work is doing by that time. Project significance, it is proposing a novel architecture that is faster to train and produces objectively better results based on the statistics extracted from the model during training. And it makes style transfer accessible to everyone. In the paper review, I have reviewed a total of 10 papers These are five that I find significant of them. The first one was in 2015 by Gatesys. It was the original neural cell transfer algorithm. It trains a gun and using optimization generates uh, generates stylized images from content and style images. After that, the problem with the uh, Gatesys implementation it was very slow and in it, the speed depended on the style of the image. So, Making a 512 by 512 image will take longer than 256 by 256 image. Then in 2016, Johnson and others proposed using perceptual losses, which is basically the mean squared, mean squared error instead of the mean absolute error which was being used in the original implementation. The result of this is much faster style transfer, up to three times during training. And the start transfer process takes much less time and can produce images of size of up to 1024 by 1024. It is so fast it enabled the ability to make videos, to make stylized videos, frame by frame. The next paper is was in 2017 by Hong and others, which proposed adaptive instance normalization, a new normalization way that a new normalization way that enables using different styles on the same network so the two papers before you can only use the style you train the model with and then for a different style you have to train another model but with this you can use different styles and different cutting images on the same network which is really good and adain is so simple it just takes a content image a style image Look at the noise image, optimize the mean and variance from these two to the noise image, producing the stylized images. It's a really simple architecture. And it's also really fast. Inference is 0.6 seconds. Another paper I reviewed is by Chin and others in 2016, patch based arbitrary style transfer. This network architecture is very different. It uses a convolutional deconvolutional network architecture. So the convolution will extract the features and then there's a style swap layer in the middle. The style swap layer will take the content and style image feature maps extracted using the using the convolutional network in the beginning and 
from each one of them take patches of a specified size the use size in the paper is 3 by 3 so a 3 by 3 matrix from the overall feature map and then paste them into the noise image which is then the which is then outputted as a stylized image another paper after that i reviewed this is the final one is by park and others in 2019 which proposed using self attention self attention was proposed in the paper attention is all you need and it led to the wide adaptability of transformers in the nlp field this paper uses self attention to determine which one of the features in an image in a content or cell images are more important so in the cell images it might for example take the sky texture as more important in a content image it might consider the face more important than the surrounding area so to some degree it has the express section the next section i'm going to talk about the network architecture the network architecture this project is using is based on the 2019 implementation by park and others with the main difference being identity loss network here we fix the coefficients so the identity loss network is smaller so identity loss network is smaller by fixing the coefficients the network architecture it has the encoders then it's still attention on networks and then the decoder then it goes through the vgg which is part of the identity loss network after calculating the identity loss it loops again through the style attention and gives new priority to style or image contents this is a self-attention network model each one of the images will go through this and will produce will produce a, a number that represents the importance of a specific feature in that image and the methodology department the whole project contains four three main parts three main components model development and testing api development and testing and mobile application development model architecture research can be grouped with the model development and testing i have done the first two parts this semester and this two will be done in the next semester inshallah for the tools used pytorch will be used to develop the model and amazon's aws SageMaker will be used to host the api flutter will be used to build the application and desktop application and google collab will be used for the initial training and testing of the model tensorboard might be used to monitor the status of images monitor the results of the network during training now for the preliminary results here we have two images the one on the left is the is a result from the original architecture i'm using so the one by park in 2019 using self attention and the one on the right is the network i'm implementing in this project the main difference here is the texture of the content here on the left the original network does not have a fixed values for the identity loss network and they are calculated during training so the style might have a higher priority compared to a part of the content that's why you can see the hair in the beard is not as visible on the right my network we have those values fixed they are the coefficients of the identity loss network so by fixing those values to a small numbers one or three it means the style will be prioritized less in the self-attentional model if the style is prioritized less means the content has more priority if the content has more priority more of it will be preserved that's why we can see the texture of the face and even the hair is preserved in the network trained in this project finally is another result using ict a picture of ict and um, the screen by edward by edward munch will give us this result we can see the details are preserved a bigger a bigger version of this picture can be found in the report as well in the future works model tuning and testing so to make it even better in the future in the next semester implementing the api make the style content rate of is adjustable so for example one can have 20 percent of a style and 80 percent of content 30 percent style 70 percent content so if this is user adjustable anyone can find a specific point where they find the image satisfactory to their standards and the final part is developing the whole application a live user oriented testing which is just basically making users test the application and how it works that's basically the whole project
السلام عليكم ورحمة الله